Steve Grace, good morning. A lot to cover, and I'm here with a very important person who has a lot to talk about. So I want to get right to Senate President Ron Kochi with us, uh, rep uh, representing Kauai, and of course the entire Senate. And I want to get right to probably the biggest issue that's facing our state in, in just the recent months, and that is supporting Maui and helping them rebuild. What is happening at the Capitol to do that? Well, clearly how we're going to have housing available for those who are displaced, uh, losing those housing units has created even more stress on a tight housing market on Maui. Uh, that's top of mind uh, as we rebuild the infrastructure. Uh, schools need to be replaced. And how are we going to support businesses and residents uh, begin to start putting their lives back together with the plan of rebuild? Uh, the cleanup is about done and we're going into the next phase. Uh, certainly fire mitigation, land management, uh, it's not just for Maui, but we have a lot of fallow former cane land uh, that uh, would be at risk across the state. So we need to make sure that this doesn't happen uh, to anybody else. I also want to talk a little bit, I know one of your priorities and, and something that we have seen expanded, we'll be covering that in, in coming weeks too, is um, education. There's access for children that are three years old for pre-K now, um, but what uh, uh, is top of mind this session when it comes to uh, really bolstering what we are able to do as a state as far as education is concerned? Well, it's been almost a year ago since the lieutenant governor held a press conference with the plan to, uh, you know, start building those units. And uh, as of last week, the report shows she's ahead of schedule. Uh, she continues to move forward. And with child care costing anywhere from 1500 to $1,800 a month, as we try to help our Alice families, then we have an option for child care where there is no cost. But more importantly, they're getting the educational foundation so that they'll be more successful in K through 12. Uh, obviously, we continue to invest in K through 12. It's through education that we create the opportunities for the young people of Hawaii. And then just real quick, back to the affordable yeah. housing. It's a big deal across the state besides Maui. It is the biggest uh, impediment to recruiting employees and retaining employees, the high cost of housing. So we need to make sure we get a lot more units uh, into the marketplace uh, so that we can have people choosing to come here instead of people choosing to leave. Real quickly, before I let you go, last question, we're almost out of time. I know that there's been some proposals to ban people that are out of state from uh, buying property, and, and there's, there's been uh, some extreme proposals in that. Are you in support of things like that, or are you open to listening to those kinds of things? Well, first of all, when I raised my hand and got sworn in, it's to uphold the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the United States does not allow that kind of yeah. discrimination. Yeah. So that legislation isn't going to go yeah. forward. It's about getting more affordable units for our residents in their hands uh, and not about banning people from coming here, which we legally can't do anyway. Very good. Senate President Ron Kuchu with us. We got, we got a lot in there, didn't we, this morning, my friend? I know uh, sometimes it always feels like it goes by fast. I appreciate you giving us some time uh, to chat with us here this morning ahead of the first day of session. Again, a lot to cover here. We'll be talking with senators and uh, representatives on both sides of the aisle ahead of this new session. We'll send things back in the studio for now. All right. Thanks, Casey.